Have you ever wondered how realtors calculate or suggest a selling price for putting your home on the market? Well, in this episode, I'm gonna share with you what those factors are. Welcome everyone to this episode of the Ask Jason Jellius Show. I'm Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor, and I appreciate you tuning in to this episode. And I'm gonna be sharing some factors that go into uh, a suggested price if you're looking to sell a home. And so I have a few right here that are the most important. Okay, so before we dive into this though, if you could do me a favor, if you haven't done this already, uh, is you can follow me on social media. Those links are in the description below and be sure to visit my website. It's allaboutthereelestate.com. There's a pop-up form that you can fill out to receive a new episode in your email every week. So let's go ahead and dive into this, okay? So people ask me, you know, how do realtors come up with a suggested listing price, right? Do they just look at my house and then they come up with a rough idea? Well, there are three major things that I noted here that I wanna share with you. Now, first off, it's the actual condition of your home, okay? This is why uh, many online value estimators aren't that accurate okay they'll get you close but they're not as accurate because they don't know if you updated your home they don't know if you have new carpet they don't know uh if you repainted the kitchen or added new hardware or whatever the case is new flooring okay they just go off of other variables outside of your home okay so the condition of your home and whether or not you need major repairs a home that needs a new roof is not going to sell for as much as a home that had a new roof or has a newer roof that was replaced in recent years okay another one is neighborhood okay what are the similar sized homes compared to your home going on the market for what are they sold for what are they marked pending for although that that price could actually be higher or lower but what what was it listed at to where someone placed an offer on it or multiple offers Okay, um, so what are those similar size homes selling for in your neighborhood? If you're in a rural area, okay, the country, you have to go further out and you have to go further back in time. Um, and then the last one is supply and demand. This is a huge one, okay? What's the housing market doing? Is it a buyer's market? Is it a seller's market? Obviously a seller's market, you'll be able to sell your home for more to where a buyer's market you may have to be more competitive. You may, you may have to actually, you will have to do more work to sell it. So these are just a few of the things. Now there are some unique things and I guess consider this a bonus tip <laughs> or a bonus factor um, is you might have such a unique property to where somebody gets emotionally attached to it and they offer you way more or you might be able to get more for it because there's something unique about that property. So that could be something too. Uh, a great example of this is when you have a newly built sub, the builders building phase one, two, three, whatever, and they have a model that is completely decked out and it's on the higher end compared to the other homes that they're offering. So that could be a fact um, a consideration as well. So I hope you guys found this valuable. Go ahead, again, follow me on social media. Those links are in the description and visit my website. It's allaboutthereelestate.com. Otherwise, I'm Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor. Hey, be sure to share this with friends, family, enemies, whoever you feel will uh, gain value from this show. I appreciate you watching.